friends, Ethron One here. You know, for those of us that own the 308 AR platforms, such as the Armalite AR-10, Rock River Arms, LAR-8, DPMS, LR-308s, finding parts and accessories can be a little difficult. Now, Midwest Industries has always been one to do its best to try to provide parts and accessories for the 308 AR platforms. Which brings me to one of their newest releases. I'd like to introduce the MI AR-10 SS Series one-piece free float handguard for the Armalite AR-10 and the Rock River Arms LAR-8. Let's check it out. Alright, let's take a look at it. The MI AR-10 SS Series One Piece Free Float Handguard 12 inch rifle length Part number MI AR-10 SS 12-A For the Armalite AR-10 and Rock River Arms LAR-8 Comes with its own barrel nut wrench Complete instructions side. Now for those of you familiar with the new handguards from Midwest Industries, this is in the style of the new SS series. The major difference between the AR-10 SS series and the G2 SS series, the AR-10 SS has a di diameter of 1.75 inches. Still very ergonomic to the hand. Has the added vent holes in the upper rail. Completely modular as you can see from the 3 o'clock position to the 9 o'clock position you can place the accessory rails at any given point. It is machined from 6061 T6 aluminum. Receives an anodized mil-spec T3 hard coating. The rail is a 1913 mil-spec rail. Laser etched numbering in the T-slots for easy placement of equipment. The rail is mil-spec correct in measurement from the receiver to the handguard so you can bridge across it using a monolithic rail or continuous rail configuration for optic platforms comes with its own proprietary barrel nut much heavier than the G2 SS for the AR-15 Also comes with three accessory rails. All three are railed, one with a QD sling swivel port. Bipod stud. The necessary hardware, screws, and Loctite. Its own barrel nut wrench. And one added feature the new 4.5 inch accessory rail for, for the G2 SS is fully compatible with the AR-10 SS. It is made 100% in the USA and has a lifetime warranty. Alright, a few closing words. couple quick technical notes for the Armalite AR-10 owners. Now this does not pertain to the Rock River Arms LARA, strictly for the Armalite AR-10 owners. Now depending when your rifle was made and what model it is, it may be necessary to get a 
longer dust cover rod or ejection port door rod as the actual part description says. The part number on this is EA1170 on the Armalite website. Now if you have the shorter rod, easy way to check it, take a ruler and measure from this spot right here to the end of the rod. If it measures at 4 inches, you will need to get the longer rod for the proper installation of this handguard. Now second note, also with the Armalite rifles, you need to measure the barrel diameter at your gas block because there are two sizes. 0 .750, which is the A4C that we have here, and .875 for the heavier barrels. Now again, this only pertains to the Armalite AR-10s. Well, there you have it, my friends. Quick look at the handguard and the accessories that come with it. You know, I have to say, it's been a long wait for this handguard. And it being it is the first from Midwest Industries for the AR-10 platforms, I have to say I'm extremely impressed. As I said, it was a long wait. Almost two years I've been waiting on this. Now in the beginning of the video, I mentioned the DPMS LR308. More to the point, the LR308 Oracle. Now Midwest Industries didn't forget about you DPMS owners. It is upcoming and in the works. I don't have an exact release date for it. You can check with MI from time to time. I was told probably in the neighborhood of about two months and it should be ready for sales. Most outstanding. Very light. 12.4 ounces. So, there you have it. This is Ethron 1 for Midwest Industries. Get some! Till next time, my friends. Target on. Outstanding.